We all know Arnold Schwarzenegger and the legend he is, and we all dream of achieving a body like his. The bodybuilder from the golden era has inspired many people and set a benchmark in old school bodybuilding. But what is the secret to Arnold's amazing physique and the exercises he did that helped him get this far? Maybe you can also try replicating his workout regime to achieve a physique like him. Let's get straight to the exercises that Arnold loved personally and what he suggests to everyone in order to develop big muscles at the gym. Arnold went to the gym six days a week and took a day of rest for his muscles to recover. He made sure each body part was trained twice a week. In today's video, let's reflect on Arnold's favorite exercises and also the most hated, chest. We all know Arnold is admired for his crazy chest and how many people want a chest like his, and he shares his favorite chest exercises which helped him attain a beastly chest. One of his favorite chest exercises is the barbell chest press with a wide grip. The barbell bench press is one of the most conventional exercises in bodybuilding, and you can hardly ever go wrong with it. It's an incredible exercise to grow your chest. Classic compound activity and an essential component of Arnold's workout regimen is the barbell bench press. The chest muscles are the primary objective of this exercise, with the shoulders and triceps acting as supporting muscles. Arnold stated the value of hard lifting to promote muscular growth, and he used the bench press to get the well-known remarkable chest development. We all know Arnold is famous for his chest genetics, which everyone wishes to have. It is without a doubt barbell bench press is a great exercise when the legend himself calls it one of his favorites. Arnold went as heavy as he could training chest to achieve maximum development, despite very high rep changes. He usually followed the pyramid method, raising the weight and lowering the repetitions on each set of a specific exercise. Backs. It is a novel concept that has just recently been made known to contemporary bodybuilders like Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler. The back double biceps and lat spread postures are crucial for succeeding in important competitions. Unlike other bodybuilders, Arnold focused on more than merely raising the weight into the right position when he worked on his back. He wouldn't ever be the best at training the way everyone else was after all. Arnold wasn't aware of one visualization method that would have been useful at the time. He was determined to build up his back for the film since he knew it would be seen from numerous camera angles, and if he was going to be a true barbarian, he didn't want anything but the best lats. He declared, I'll want my back muscles to spark with force. The public will know that I am a tough fighter if my back is writhing and rippling when on the stage. Arnold believed that it was ideal to exercise all parts of the back, outer, upper, lower, and middle, and then conclude with a power action like deadlifts or cleans, which worked all of the back muscles. Arnold stretched his lats after each back workout by pushing hard on a stationary item with one or both arms completely extended. He claimed that doing so helped him achieve outstanding overall lat development while still remaining supple and limber in the upper body. Arnold always employed a tight grip on chin-ups, pull-downs, and any form of row to target the lower lats. Lower lat growth complemented his enormous upper body width. Shoulders A man with broad shoulders feels better about himself and displays more assurance and confidence. Arnold's deltoids were the weakest part of his upper body in the early years of his bodybuilding career. After winning the 1967 Mr. Universe competition in London, he credited his increased shoulder growth in significant part for the victory. As a result, he worked on them nonstop. When he defeated his idol Reg Park three years later at the 1970 Universe, he once more expressed his gratitude for having worked his shoulders so hard. When it came to shoulder exercise, Arnold kept barbell work to a minimum. For a long time, he prioritized delts in exercises that also included arms, claiming that his delts were inherently weak and needed to be worked while they were fresh. Legs 
In his first year of bodybuilding, the young Austrian didn't work out his legs at all. He went beyond after finally recognizing the importance of his lower body, even going so far as to exercise his legs every day for a year with 10 rounds of squats and 10 sets of leg curves. He was predictably unhappy with the outcomes. Arnold frequently divided his quad workouts into two sessions, performing the first three thigh exercises in the morning and the final one or two in the evening. This ensured that every exercise was executed with maximum intensity. Despite the severity of his leg workouts, Arnold restricted his rest times between sets to a minimum of one minute. This produced a flushing effect, which kept maximal blood in the muscles throughout the exercise. He would occasionally do leg curls in the middle of his quad session after front squats and before leg presses to give the front of his thighs some time to recover. He then finished the workout with more hamstring sets. Biceps We all admire Arnold's biceps and the mass they have. He took a lot of time training them and giving them a more fuller look at achieving a bigger size. Arnold initially went to a gym as a teenager. The young oak observed gym goers lifting weights and tried his hardest to memorize their routine so he and his buddies could practice them at home. He was primarily interested in having enormous arms at that moment, so that was his starting point. Arnold was not afraid to cheat when it came to arm workouts, particularly standing curls. He believed that going heavy was the greatest way to bulk up. Arnold usually included at least one exercise, like the dumbbell curl in his regimen, to accomplish full growth. Despite the fact that the biceps are a small muscle area, Arnold routinely exercised them at the same volume as other body parts and with the heaviest weights he could manage. Calves Arnold's insecurity about his calves had been widely publicized throughout the years. He used to cut the bottoms of his sweatpants while training to expose them since they were too small. This inspired him to enhance the area, which he eventually achieved by bulking up the gastroc and soleus muscles. His strategies for raising up this weak spot were extremely high volume and high frequency training. When it came to calf training, Arnold valued diversity. Anything that would surprise the obstinate calves was fair game. High reps, low reps, super short rest periods of about 15 to 30 seconds, supersets, and so on. His calves' exercises, for the most part, carried the calves through a full range of motion, down for a full stretch, then up until they were nearly cramped. However, he also did entire sets of partial reps, which allowed him to push considerably heavier. Alternatively, he'd conclude full range of motion sets with a few partials to burn out the calves. Arnold's legendary double split training regimen required him to work calves six days a week. That'll be all for today's video. What do you think would be your favorite exercise? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a single upload.